hi welcome back to my channel I know I didn't post for a while now but um, I did not receive anything from God as much as I used to and I got uh, very frustrated and then um, I just took a break from everything I started to like keep asking him why I'm not receiving anything and um, I really try to stay away from these worldly things and try just to be on my knees and and read the scripture and pray and um, I had a dream a very powerful one which I did not expect at all um, and I want to share it with you today but before I share it with you I want to um, tell you why I even um, what the dream was all about um, from the scripture as well so I read in Matthew um, I think it was 3 11 3 11 it says I was reading the scriptures on my knees and you know crying to the Lord and then I read this I baptize you with water for repentance but after me comes one who is more powerful than I, whose sandals I'm not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clear his threshing floor, gathering his wheat into the barn and burning up the chaff with unquenchable fire. And I was like, wait a second. John was talking about Jesus here. So John was talking about that John is baptizing the people with water for repentance, right? Because they accepted Jesus Christ as, as the Lord and Savior and they went as to the water baptist to show up that they are serious about it. But then after me comes one who is more powerful than I, whose sandals I'm not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. And I'm like thinking... Wait a sec, maybe I should... I don't even know, like, am I filled with the Holy Spirit? I don't think so. I, I do believe that I have a bit of the Holy Spirit, but I still do a lot of sinning and mistakes like everybody else. And I'm like, how, how about I'm going to pray over and over um, about the same thing to Jesus? I'm like, before I went to sleep, I think I said 30 times when I was laying down in bed, um, before I went to sleep, I was on my knees first. I was praying like I always pray. And then I lay down and I was like, let me, let me pray for it. You know, if something happens, then it happens. Then if not, then not. So I'm like, Jesus, I pray, so, I pray for the Holy Spirit and fire. Baptize me with the Holy Spirit and fire. Jesus, baptize me with the Holy Spirit and fire. Jesus, baptize me with the Holy Spirit and fire. Jesus, baptize me with the Holy Spirit and fire. And over and over and over again, right? I think I said it over 30 times and then I fell asleep. On this night... It was just crazy. I think it was this night or the night after. I don't remember when it was. But in one day, one night, it was like a dream and a vision in the same time. I felt like... So I, I, was, I felt like I woke up in the dream and I was laying down on my bed. And I felt like a rushing wind. The weather was bad outside and the wind came in like in the room. And then I, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go back to sleep in my dream while I was sleeping. And I close up my eyes again. And then I feel like I'm standing up or something. And my body was like completely sh shaking. And I was like, what's going on? I like, I didn't understand and I couldn't move. My body was shaking really badly. And I was like, oh my goodness, what's going on? And I felt like a fear. But... Like, no, I want to run. Like, I want to run away, but in the same time, I want it. And I felt like, oh, my God, what's going on? What is going on? Nobody was around me. And I felt like, oh, no. And my mind was like, oh, no, Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. He's very close. He's very close. And my body was, like, shaking. I couldn't, like, my, my head went actually up. And my body was shaking, shaking. And I knew that Jesus is coming. And I was so afraid. I was so fearful. 
but i think that's good when you fear the lord right so so i was shaking and my whole body was like electrolyzed or shaking i don't know how to describe this feeling it was so powerful like it was real real right so it lasted i don't know for how long you know how dreams or visions are um for a few minutes and then i woke up again but then i woke up in the like i was dreaming but i thought i woke up literally i woke up again i look out of the window it was very dark like bad weather dark and like grayish you know when it's raining a lot and then i thought that i woke up but i was still dreaming and then there was the second part of the dream um so i was like i got electrolyzed to something and then something in my body in my spirit or in my body was like a dark force tried to like get out of me and take me with it i don't know what it was it was very powerful i feel like i'm spinning around and then i finally woke up you know and it was so awkward so strange I know Jesus Christ is close. I know we should repent and and seek him every single day, um, keeping his commandments and try not to like do worldly things like shopping, partying, alcohol, um, you know, all these bad things that we're not supposed to do as Christians, lying, stealing, you know, all these things we should forsake we should not defraud people. I know it's hard. I have my own problems with like, I'm giving in and temptations. That's why we always have to pray every single day. It's our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Forgive us, Father God. And we have to pray every single day. Do not let us fall into temptation, right? Remember, uh, Jesus was talking, telling the apostles every single day to like, don't don't go to sleep right they went always to sleep and, and he was like no don't go to sleep uh, uh pray that you're not gonna fall into temptation i think he was speaking about the worldly temptation like temptation from the devil like devil's trying to like come closer like a, you know like this is the devil and he's like trying oh how about you're gonna call someone and then you you, uh, you give in to the t temptation you call somebody and your friend's like oh how about we go for a coffee and then out of the coffee it's gonna be like becoming oh let's go shopping and you know you're not supposed to do shopping you're supposed to be at home praying and waiting until the kingdom of god comes until jesus appears to you you know and, and he will baptize you with the holy spirit and fire or whatever you need at this time and the devil is always like a roaring lion and he's always around you and he's like oh how about you gonna go out with your friends oh just you don't need to drink when you are like uh when you're very weak about alcohol the devil's gonna be like oh just hang out with some friends and then your friend's gonna tell you like oh how about we're gonna go out tonight and then you're like oh i'm not gonna drink blah 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 and then how about we're gonna drink just one wine and out of one wine will be two wines or beer and and then out of like just hanging out with friends you're gonna like end up you know regretting everything and feeling very bad on the next day because you give into this temptation it starts small and the devil's expanding it and then he got you and he's like ha 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 you know i have my weak points everybody i guess some people have it stronger than others but i encourage you when you're a christian and um you have a temptation you know you're very weak you're an alcoholic it's very hard to stop i encourage you go online and try to seek help for example alcohol you can go to um rehab or whatever i am very weak about shopping so i i'm always good for a while and then i'm going back to shopping online because i'm bombarded up from with all these ads and stuff i think all women can um understand me because as soon as we just open our emails we are bombarded with all emails lately i'm getting so many mails home like magazines and stuff you know and i'm trying to cut it i, I try to cut makeup i was obsessed with makeup now it's like the clothes and shopping and stuff i'm trying really to like you know 
not to do it but the thing is uh, you have to really try to to seek help of course pray over it fast over it if still nothing comes and you really truly want to stop doing certain things go online look for help for example i i googled how to stop shopping and there are other people they're helping people like what they they're gonna encourage you how to stop shopping for example they say like oh um unsubscribe all the emails um you know uh, from the people do a different habit instead of this cancel this like that don't open so many credit cards or whatever um you know certain things you can do and to limit it ex you know the flesh is like always gonna drag you for for something fleshly but you know you're a christian you know you're not supposed to do it the same with alcoholics we feel very weak about alcohol uh try to avoid friends that are drinkers or say i'm sorry i have something else to do like get an excuse or start instead of drinking when you're stressed out go out and and walk around in the park you know if you're like an addict about youtube videos like i am um try to delete maybe delete delete youtube or unsubscribe to um uh, youtubers especially about fashion and all the other things of course you can uh leave the jesus stuff there but I'm serious this is gonna help you so much to um, not to be tempted anymore and instead of uh, giving out uh, like instead of shopping online and spend your money online say oh I'm gonna use this money to actually donate for somebody you know this is a very good thing you take you're still spending money but you're spending the money somewhere else you know you you're giving it to someone so that's a good thing i would say you know we need to walk in the spirit and not in the flesh and i pray for your brothers and sisters that you can do it and that you will seek the kingdom of god that you will repent of your sins and wait f until jesus christ coming because he's very close um and you don't want to be left behind okay god bless you uh, thank you so much for watching bye see you in the next video